Hello, I'm George Cummings with your SCB News Break for Friday, October 30th. Deputies with the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station are searching for the suspects and the victims in an alleged car-to-car -car shooting. Officials were dispatched to the Arco gas station on Newhall Avenue Thursday night at around 5 p.m. After arriving at the scene, deputies say they found shell casings but no traces of the suspects' cars. Witnesses called in again later that evening about seeing two Hispanic men patching up bullet holes in a car. Deputies are still searching for both parties involved and no victims have been found at any local hospitals. Friends and family came together Thursday night to remember Nicole Danielson, 26, the woman found unresponsive in her Castaic home last weekend. Family members say she always saw the good in people and her smile lit up every room she entered. A second vigil will be held outside the Danielson residence on Monday and a service will be held for her next Thursday at the Village Church in Newhall. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll hear about how the legacy of the Canyon Country Witch is still living on. Plus, we have a rundown of some fun family events happening for Halloween. Stay tuned. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's going to bring it home. Mama's okay. going to bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on. Watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh. Don't. Oh. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here it yeah. goes. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. All right, let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Welcome back. For over 30 years, local residents have enjoyed the tricks and treats of the woman they've called the Canyon Country Witch. We found out how her legacy is continuing even after her death. There is a house in Canyon Country that is known for its holiday decorations and the little old lady who lived to scare. She dressed as a witch every Halloween. Um, she loved to scare the little kids. They would always, always decorate the garage. The whole family was involved. There was smoke everywhere. There was stuff that would come from the ceiling to scare everybody. Um, it was really amazing and she loved. Every year for the past 30 years, trick-or-treaters have looked forward to going to the house off of Lakecrest Avenue with the witch and scary decorations during Halloween. But this year, things are different. My favorite memory is the Halloween where she didn't dress as a witch. She had a mask made of her face and she put it on a dummy and put it in the coffin and then she didn't dress to hand out the candy and she told all the kids that came up that the witch had died. Um, but I thought all the people that come year after year um, needed to know why there were no decorations at the house. So I made a poem to put outside the house that explained why there was no decorations there. Gloria Miller passed away in July and insisted that there would be no service held for her. This year there is only a sign to commemorate the tradition that lasted over the course of generations. I can only tell you this. An awful lot of people have stopped out here in the street to read it. And I've had people come up, post flowers at this thing, which were, I didn't expect it. But she was known because of Halloween and because of our Christmas thing. On Halloween night this year, there will be a celebration of the Canyon Country Witch's life and perhaps even a passing of the torch to her youngest daughter, Kathy. And she <laughs> made my sister promised to put the mask that she had made that year on a dummy and set it up at the very first Halloween party that she missed, which of course is this one. Um, so her face is on the dummy in the hall with a sign that says, gone but not forgotten. <laughs> Tonight in Halloween night will conclude the scaring events happening at one Santa Clarita residence. Beware the Dark Realm, a popular and very elaborate maze, will hold its terrors on Sugar Pine Way. They'll be scaring from 6 to 11 p.m. both nights. The first hour is a non-scare tour for the kids. After 7 p.m., brave ones can look forward to the nightly reign of terror. Halloween night, children can expect a spooktacular time at the Westfield Valencia Town Center. There'll be trick-or-treating and Halloween puppet shows from 2 to 4 p.m., there will also be an art tree costume contest at 3 p.m., so make sure your little ones are dressed in the spirit of Halloween fun. 
Now turning to weather, Friday saw temperatures in the mid to upper 70s across the area with overnight lows in the upper 50s. Winds kicked up today with gusts around 40 miles per hour. The weekend will see highs in the low to mid 80s. Clouds will move in Monday with a 40% chance of rain and temperatures dropping into the low 70s. And don't forget to observe the end of daylight saving time this weekend, so turn your clocks back an hour. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm George Cummings. Have a happy Halloween. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash.